BMW 3 Series GTR. The 2002 has the heritage, the 7 Series has the prestige, but does any BMW embody the ultimate driving machine moniker better than the 3 Series? For half a century, the 3 Series has been the industry benchmark for sports sedans. But to typecast it as a sports sedan is to sell it short, having been released in nearly every body style imaginable, sedan, coupe, convertible, hatchback, and wagon, the 3 Series is an enduring reminder that there's no automotive mission that cannot be improved by a little more driver engagement. If you liked this video till here far, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Chevrolet Corvette The Chevrolet Corvette has always been America's sports car. Since its inception in 1953, every generation of Corvette has strived to run with the best the world can offer. Even in its less-than-stellar iterations, the Corvette has always posed a credible performance challenge to its contemporary foreign rivals, so much so that it's easy to overlook two of the Corvette's best attributes, daily drivability and good old-fashioned American value. Ford F-150 it seems strangely clairvoyant that a year before Ford brought out its transformative 1,949 cars, all new designs from Henry Ford II's revitalized Ford Motor Company, it introduced the first F-Series pickup. Did Ford know trucks would rule the American marketplace in just a few decades' time? Since the launch of that first F-1, Ford trucks have served millions of drivers as a workhorse, family car, tractor for their trailer, or off-road adventure machine, often fulfilling several of those roles concurrently. The F-150, together with its other F-Series variants, have been America's best-selling vehicle, not just truck, but vehicle, for more than four decades. More than an icon, the Ford F-150 is woven into the fabric of Americana, Ford Mustang It started out as something for the kids, a snazzy coupe developed on the cheap from the Ford parts bin. Ford hoped to sell 100,000 Mustangs in its first year. Instead, it sold 22,000 on the first day, with the millionth Mustang rolling off the line less than two years later. Flexibility was the key. The Mustang could be configured as anything from an economy runabout to a tire-smoking racer. Other automakers gave up on the pony car market, but Ford never lost faith, adapting the Mustang to the changing needs of the marketplace right up to this very day. Picture the iconic American drive, cruising down Pacific Coast Highway with the top down. Lamborghini Countach This Gandini-designed masterpiece wowed the world when it first appeared at the 1971 Geneva Motor Show, not only with its spaceship styling, but with the action promised by its monster V12. Even after 15 years, a time span that would make most designs seem not just dated, but downright ancient. The Countach was still the pinnacle of supercar desirability, vying for position in millionaires' driveways and on teenagers' bedroom walls. Generations of superior Lumbos have come since, but to this day, the Countach remains a matchless thrill to see, hear, and drive. Mazda Miata Mazda introduced the Miata to deliver baby boomers the joys of the iconic British roadsters they used to drive, minus the misery of British, un, reliability. Three decades later, 
The sports cars it was designed to emulate have been largely forgotten, and it's the Miata that has become the icon. Generations of drivers who wouldn't know an MGA from a TR3 have thrilled to the plucky Miata, which has defied conventional wisdom by never varying its original formula, two seats, for not too big cylinders, and as little gauze as possible between driver and road. Today's Miata delivers the same simple, affordable, top-down fun as the original, and we doubt any car in the last three quarters of a century has generated more smiles per mile. Porsche 911 the original Porsche 911 had a set-in-stone creed that its basic form could never change. In all of automotive history, has there been a smarter decision? Despite having the engine in the wrong place, a charming if sometimes dangerous flaw Porsche has spent years taming and refining, the 911 has been everything a sports car can be, from affordable funster to unattainable status symbol weekend runabout to championship winning race car. Even so, it has rarely ventured more than a car length from its roots as a standard bearer for German driving dynamics and a touchstone for the human machine connection.